Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon, and welcome to another episode of Gotham. We are moving on. Firstly, I want to say a big thank you to Frank Tremel, Ollie Brown, and The Lone Detective for being Patreon super supporters. Thank you very much for your support, guys. Yes, we are moving on from last week's episode, where a lot happened, to be honest. Um, we saw Jim and Barbara teaming up, in a way, uh, by Barbara faking her betrayal towards Jim, um, to try and get him in with the lady. Um, they eventually managed to find out information, obviously, on who it was who was uh, trying to hire out, or who did hire out, um, Matches Malone to kill the Wayne parents. Um, in the end, we learned that it was Hugo Strange, who had been employed by Thomas Wayne um, to run the facility uh, that we've... Well, it wasn't this facility we'd have been seeing at Indian Hill. It was a previous facility that had been run that, in my mind, Thomas Wayne had opened to help rehabilitate people who maybe had debilitating injuries or were missing limbs. Um, and it's kind of been turned into a weapons project by, you know, Hugo Strange. Um, we saw him send out Mr. Freeze, um, who unfortunately took the life of the young girl with the, the falcon claw, um, who had been helping out the group, including uh, Bruce and... and um, uh, Bruce and what's his name? Uh, Alfred. Why is it I took so long to remember Alfred's name? That's that's shameful. Um, but it was a really fun episode. And, you know, seeing that dynamic with Jim and Barbara again, and Barbara still maybe being a little bit slightly crazy, is definitely something I want to see a little bit more of. Um, I found it very, very interesting. Um, absolutely no mention of the Penguin, or um, absolutely no sort of look inside how Ed's getting on in... Um, in the Arkham Asylum, so I'm wondering when we're going to pick up there, whether they'll leave them be for a while, because they both kind of found themselves in difficult situations, or if they'll pick straight up, uh, straight back up with them. Um, but yeah, the cat's out of the bag, we kind of know now who it was who ordered the, you know, matter of the Wayne parents, how is Bruce going to respond to that is a big question, so yeah, let's jump in and find out. Storm is an ox. Fast as a snake. Mad as a hatter. Yeah. There's not much use bringing back the dead if they come back crazy. Oh, he's not crazy. What is he? He just doesn't know who he is. His psyche can't reconcile being brought back from the dead. It's fractured, grasping at fragmented memories. The text that he has written on the walls are all verses from this book. Oh. The will and order of Saint Dumas. So it's memories. Proudly descended from 12th century crusading knights. This is their sacred text. This is a court order signed by District Attorney Dent to exhume Price's body. Oh. Where's it buried? He was cremated. How convenient. Thank you. For what? I can read tells too. Uh. You're lying. I needed to be sure you were behind all this. And now I am. Oh, shit. There's nothing in there, is there? Yeah, Jim, you played him. You will leave Rudy alone. And if you come back here again, you'll have to deal with me. He's power playing everyone. She really made you say all that? Yeah, but was it me? Sorry. Hey. Lucy thinks I'm handsome. Mm-hmm. Isn't that right? Oh. What is he doing here? Hello, Jimmy. Go to hell, Ed. Oh, you've already put me there. Here. <laughs> but not for long, my friend. I'll find my way out. Because this place is just one big puzzle, and puzzles are my forte. Yeah, they really are. Nobody beats me. That we humans tell ourselves we have got to give him a great heroic story. We need to give him a good heroic dose of Thorazine. <laughs> you are the boss. Perfect. Perfect! Sir? He's going to make him into a knight. He's dangerous. Who do you think I am? Your son? You're my father? Yeah, of course. Don't you just look alike? I feel a father's love when I look into your eyes. Two peas in a pod. 
Where am I? What is it? What happened to me? What happened to me? Why don't I know my name? My son. <gasps> Calm your heart. Demons took you to the land of death and bewitched your soul and they brought you back to life. You are the redeemed one. What is my name? He's going to call him Azrael. You know your name. No, no, there is another life. There is a sister, a high tower. No, 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 no. Yeah. Engagement. False memories put into your head. He's trying to change his personality. And your lord. Azrael. Azrael. Yes. I am Azrael. <laughs> My lord Duma. Command me. Command me, daddy. I had to. I'm crafting your armor as we speak, but first your skills armor. must be tested. I got it. You're the mayor. What is this place? What's going on? That is a demon. What's going on here? Oh what no. Fire. Get out of here. That piece will give you everything you need to destroy him. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out! I want to get out of here! Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> He literally used the case. Not exactly what I had in mind. Yeah. But good enough. Try opening the chest, my son. <laughs> I love that. This case will give you everything you need. Literally hits him with the case. Sword of sin. <gasps> oh shit. Your ally, an instrument of justice, a vanquisher of evil for generations. She thirsts for blood. That is one cool-looking sword. Pull your guns. James Gordon. He actually has armor as well. You know this guy? Who are you? I am Azrael, righteous scourge of sins. Ow. Whoa. Oh shit. When did Galavan get so athletic? Is this where Bruce is going to get the inspiration for some of the Batman stuff? Oh, what does what does Bruce think of that? Through the glass. Oh, I love it. Oh, the blade broke. Possible. But he's gonna stab him the moment he sees his face. He's still he's gonna die. You. You're dead. Not anymore. Ah! 
I knew it. So much foreshadowing in this whole episode. And Jim arrives just in time to see him. Finally. Oh, fuck. Oh! Oh, shit! Yeah, crash into the... Yeah. <laughs> Man, TV in Gotham is so entertaining. I was, are they going to catch his face on TV? Penguin. Oh, everyone's reactions. Hello, old friend. He's going to get to kill him all over again. Well, he must never have been dead. I mean, that's the only possibility. I mean, no one dies and comes back to life again, do they? Yes, they do. No one. They do now. But he did. Strange. Strange must be behind this. Oh, Ed, you're not going to find what you expect down here. Oh, these are the subjects that have been brought back. Is he going to be stood on top of there? Like Batman would be? That's some very clever imagery. Well, some extremely clever imagery in this episode. Um, I love how Azrael is almost a shadow of Batman. It's almost like them saying this is where Bruce, in a way, kind of got some of his, you know, signature kind of I don't know, sort of feats and, and looks. Or at least they're just trying to play a visual metaphor and saying that this is a different kind of vigilante uh, that Gotham has at the moment. And, you know, obviously Azrael believes what he's doing is completely righteous. Um, I do, I, I mean, it's an interesting prospect, the idea that people are coming back, but they don't remember who they were. So now they're being given the stories and they're becoming, they're believing that they are characters from the past. I'm guessing in some cases even mythical characters. I know that Azrael is probably a mixture of a family history and a bit of like a myth. Um, but it's still interesting in the way that they've, they've done that. It's not just Galavan who's back. Um, it's someone else. Uh, which... You know, it kind of nullifies the idea of people surviving death. It's more like, well, your corpse will be brought back and you'll be a completely different person depending on who this crazy professor wants to make you believe. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed the episode. I thought, you know, along, along with all that visual sort of imagery, um, the... You know, the build-up was really great. I, I love the look of Azrael. I love the, the voice, the way they made, you know, him sound really kind of intimidating. I, I love the fact we got to see all of the characters' reactions to his return. Um, you know, and there's so many different sort of interests in his character. You know, obviously you've got the likes of Penguin who wants him dead. Um, you've got um, Tabitha who... You know, has probably been assuming that her brother's been dead for the last few months. You don't know what her thoughts are going to be once, you know, she actually manages to come to terms with him being back. 
Um, and there's so many people, you know, who are going to be invested in that. And I mean, I guess really it's, it's a case of you wonder how does Professor Strange feel about Galavan's identity being revealed? Is it something that he would be annoyed with because he doesn't want people to know people are coming back from the dead? Because it's, it's only going to lead to more questions. If it's a masked vigilante who's trying to kill Jim Gordon, people are not going to ask as many questions as, holy shit, that's the former dead mayor of this town who's come back to life. Um, you know, that's going to lead into a lot more questions. So I'm interested in seeing what he's going to think of that. The captain, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the end of the captain. Um, they were pretty much foreshadowing all the way through that, you know, his and Jim's relationship was being really strained. Um, and Jim saying, you know, that maybe one day I will run the GCPD was, was again, kind of foreshadowing it. Um, but I still really like the way they kind of did it. You know, if he survives, great. If not, it's a fitting way for him to go out. Um, I just thought it was it was a very well put together episode. I did thoroughly enjoy it. And I'm looking forward to seeing not just where it's going to go, but who else could possibly be brought back. I know there's only a couple of episodes left. So it's not likely that there will be many people brought back unless they decide to stretch this into season three. Um, but we're getting another showdown with Galavan, which is not something that I would have expected after he died. Um, so we'll have to see whereabouts this goes. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you for the next one.